All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is April 1st and up here in Maine, that means that it is opening day for open water fishing. And a lot of people are gonna be going after some trout um, this spring. So I figured I'd make this video, I'll make it a pretty quick video on what my favorite early spring trout lure is. Before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you guys if you're a new viewer and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out and helps make more videos like this. So uh, if you guys haven't been following me for very long, I started a tackle company a number of years ago. It's called Trout Whisperer Tackle Company and I get a ton of questions every year um, about my recommendations for this scenario, that scenario, this time of year or whatever. Um, people want, you know, kind of a, a top, top few picks of what I would use for this time of year. So I figured I would give you guys kind of my number one uh, pick or at least my number one style of lure to use casting lure um, early in the spring like this so it's still really early up here uh, central Maine and north there's still ice on a lot of the ponds there's still a bunch of snow around it actually snowed last night we got a dusting so um, the water temps are still really really cold which means that those fish are still fairly lethargic they're not gonna want to chase baits really far especially when that water is higher you're gonna have to kind of slow it down and kind of put it right in front of them. Um, so my favorite lure to use this time of year, there's a bunch of different stuff that people use. Obviously we sell spoons, spinners, crankbaits. Uh, you can use floats with little jigs, but my favorite thing to use to cover the most amount of water is a spinner. And I'll tell you why, we'll get a tighter shot of this. The reason I like using spinners so much um, is because you can vary the speed on them. Spoons, you can, you can fish slower, but not as slow as you can a, a spinner like this. I have a video on how to fish spinners. Uh, it's an older video, so I'll probably redo it at some point, but I'll leave it in the end cards. Um, I think I could do a little bit better job with it now, but um, still some of the information is still really good in there. So like I said, the reason I like spinners is because you can slow the presentation down a lot. And that's what you need to do this time of year. Those fish, like I said, they're not really going to want to chase a bait, you know, across the stream. You're going to have to kind of put it right in front of them, go nice and slow. And with these spinners, they have a lot of action, a lot of vibration, a lot of flash, and you can fish it pretty slow, especially in current if you cast it out there and kind of swing it down current, you can almost troll it, just hold your rod right there and just the current alone will get that bait spinning. So um, spoons are harder to do that with uh, and the spinners work really well. So let's get into a tighter shot here and I'll show you a couple of my favorite color patterns and sizes. All right, so one of my favorite spinners to throw in the spring is this platinum spinner that we make here. Um, this one is a size two blade it also comes in a size one blade, but you can see the overall size of it. It's not all that big. And I fish this in larger water. If you're fishing smaller streams, and I'm talking like stuff that you can basically cast from one bank to another, um, I would downsize this to the size one blade, which would be, this is a different spinner, but you can see the blade size difference here. Um, this is the size one, this is the size two. That's also a question that I get quite a bit is which size is bigger, the one or two? Well, the two is bigger. And the twos tend to be, I make the bodies longer as well, so it just seems to be an overall bigger profile bait. But I really like this platinum spinner. It's all silver, has a lot of flash. Um, if you have clear water um, and it's a nice bright day, this puts off a lot of flash, a lot of vibration, and uh, it, they all have single hooks on them which a lot of you guys already know and like. And we do that because it makes it easier for catch and release fishing. It also, you get way, way less snags. Um, when you do get snagged, say on a rock or a log or even a tree, it's very easy to get it out. You don't lose as many baits. Also, all of my spinners come with a swivel built into the tip so you can tie directly to the bait. And that's what I recommend doing a lot of people like to use snap swivels and I don't really like doing that. I like tying directly to the bait. So this little baby swivel up here just acts as your, you know, so you don't get line twists because that bait is constantly spinning. Um, that way you don't need to use a bulky snap swivel and you reduce kind of the overall profile of the bait there. So this is like one of the ones that I throw on first. It's a really good kind of like smell imitation. 
uh, this time of year and in a little while here there'll be a big smelt run up here in Maine so this is kind of a good smelt imitation you know bright silver lure like that so a new spinner that I just came out with the other day, I'm probably gonna make a video on this coming up here tomorrow. I'll probably go out and use this, but it's basically the same blade as that platinum spinner. It's just same body. It's just got a, a pink, um, pink pearl bead on there, which I really like to use pink in the spring. I'm not sure why, they just really seem to like that pink color. Um, it comes in the uh, size two blade. And I just kind of made it for spring. We'll see how it works. I think it's going to be awesome. So a lot of my spinners now are coming with the custom stamped blade on the back now that says Trout Whisper Tackle on there. So once you've opened the package and tossed that away, you know exactly what this spinner is that you have and how to get another one and uh, where it came from. So really pumped about having that, uh, having a brand stamped on these spinners and, and everything else. So my other favorite spinner for the spring is this all white spinner here. Uh, if you guys saw a more recent video that I did, I actually took this one out in February and caught some fish on it. And it's pretty simple, it's all white. It's the beads are white, the body's white, the blade is solid white, and the back of the blade is silver or nickel. Um, so it uh, comes in two sizes obviously. This is the, the size difference here. A size one, size two. I'll leave a link to that video of me fishing with this. It's kind of when I released this just uh, a couple weeks back. So uh, really pumped to have this one. I really like throwing this one. I've been using it a bunch lately and it's caught a, a ton of fish already. So the size two blade is a one sixth ounce. This is the packaging that it comes in as well. You'll get it like that. Um, and then the size one is a one eighth ounce. So here, here's kind of the better look at that size one blade. They'll all be kind of this size for the size one. The body's a little bit smaller. The blade's smaller, obviously. But uh, this time of year, the bait is a little bit smaller. So having both sizes is really good. If they're not into that bigger size, then uh, you know downsize and throw on one of these and see if that helps you out. And like I said, I like using these size one on the smaller streams that I fish. They just seem to uh, work better. They don't get snagged as much, it's not as heavy, not as much drag. Um, they don't get down quite as deep. Um, although you can fish them really as deep as you want if you just let them sink, but uh, these are easier to, to fish higher up in the water column. White is always just a good color to have, so uh, I always have one of these in my tackle box. Something with some white on it. My next favorite spinner for the spring is one of these pinky spinners. I like throwing stuff that has pink on it in the spring. I'm not sure why, they just trout seem to like that pink color a lot. Um, so this one has a pink body, has some white pearl beads, and it has that hammered nickel blade on there. Uh, I always have one of these hanging around and I always seem to catch some fish on it. So one of my favorites. So these last few ones are all good for clear water. Um, when the water gets a little bit blown out or a little stained, uh, I throw on something that has uh, a little bit uh, less flash to it, like this brass blade. Um, this is the bougie white spinner. It's still got that white body, but it's got uh, brass beads on there and a brass spinner blade, which is better in that darker, more stained water. The theory is if you don't have the light to, you know, if, if it's not bright out or you're not getting light penetration through the water to give off all that extra flash of these, you know, silver lures, um, it's just not gonna give off the flash. So these, uh, these darker colors like this uh, tend to fish better when the water's a little more stained or blown out. Another good color to use if the water is, uh, is stained or high and blown out is this uh, chartreuse bodied. Um, this is called the Firefly. Um, these beads are actually glow in the dark, so if you're fishing lower light conditions, that uh, is helpful as well. And it's got that hammered knuckle blade on there. Um, chartreuse has always been a good color to use when the water is kind of stained and blown out. And if you want to take it uh, another step further, we got the Copper Dawn here. Uh, this thing is basically the ultimate uh, darker water stained uh, spinner here. It's got a black body. Let me take it out of the package for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm probably going to update this one uh, with a couple, with just a different size bead uh, this year once I get them in stock. But this is how I've been fishing it for quite a while. Um, this is a black body. So 
really a lot of contrast uh, when you get into that darker water. Uh, it's got a couple red beads on there and then the blade, instead of being that brass or, or nickel, it is actually copper. Um, so that is like one of the better options to use when the water is darker and stained. So I also get a bunch of questions on like rod reel line setup. Um, and I have some videos specifically on that, like how to fish the spinners. I talk about setups and things like that. But uh, in some of my other videos when I'm fishing, I just kind of show you guys what I'm using. But I'll give you the rundown of what I'm really, what I've been using for the last few years here and what I really like. Um, for the last like five years, I've been using the JT uh, Panhandler 7 footer and I've been working with them. So I've been using that rod a lot and it's by far my favorite trout rod right now. It's a higher end trout rod, but uh, it's, it's got a lot of great features, very sensitive rod and it throws these uh, you know, smaller lures like this really good. Um, you really need a light or ultra light action rod to be able to even cast this stuff. If you go out there with like your medium action you know, bass rod, they're not gonna cast that well for you. You're not gonna get as good of a distance. You're not gonna have the sensitivity. And when you get those lighter rods, you'll be able to feel that blade spinning, make sure that your, the action is, is going good on your on your lure. Um, sometimes you can get a piece of grass on there and, you, and with that panhandle you can feel it that the, the blade is just not working right so you'll know to kind of reel it in and fix that. That panhandle rod has been awesome. I've caught so many fish on that and you guys that have been following the channel have seen some of the fish we've caught with it. I've caught hundreds if not thousands of fish on that, on that thing and it can handle some big fish. I've caught some decent sized trout on it and I've also caught uh, you know some bigger smallies on it that put up a heck of a fight and um, it's really, it's, you know, I thought I'd be outmatched with some of those fish with that rod because it's an, it's an ultra light, but man, that thing, it would just, it did its job and it's, it's awesome. I can't, there's no complaints. So the only way that it, that that rod would be better is if they made it in an eight foot, in an eight foot rod. And uh, I've kind of put the bug in the ear for that. I kind of made a few comments that we'd like to see like an eight foot rod panhandler. And a lot of people were agreeing on that. So maybe in the future we'll, we'll get one of those and uh, they'll make one and we'll be able to use it and kind of show you guys why I think that would be better. But uh, for now, uh, the seven foot paint handler is what I use. And I'll link it down in the description below. I got a promo code for you guys to use if you want to pick one up for yourself. And the reel that I've been pairing that with is the PC Fun Carbon X2. Uh, I just started using these last season. I used it all last season and it works really, really well. It's a higher end spinning reel, but at a lower cost. So um, I love the drag on it. It looks super cool, especially with the uh, panhandler rod. It just looks good on that rod because it's also a flat black uh, blank. So it looks really cool, super smooth. Drag is great. Um, I have no complaints about this. I like to use the 2000 size. I'll leave this reel down in the description below. Uh, I also have a promo code for PC Fun. You can go and check out all of their reels and everything else that they sell, and that promo code is good for any of that stuff. So if you want to get an even cheaper reel, um, I think they have reels down to like $20, $30 that are still pretty good, and uh, that promo code is still good for that. So go check it out. I'll leave that down in the description below. There's a lot of different opinions on what people like for, for line for these types of you know casting spoons and spinners, crankbaits, smaller trout lures like this. Um, some people like braid, some people like fluorocarbon. I like monofilament. I always use this P-Line CX Premium. I've been using it for years in the six pound, in the moss green color. You can get whatever color you want, but uh, this is a fluorocarbon coated monofilament. So it's got the abrasion resistance of the fluorocarbon uh, without the memory. The braid is all right. Um, I, you tend to get a lot of wind knots with that. It doesn't really break as easily if you get snagged on something. And the fluorocarbon just has too much memory for me. So I like using this stuff. It's super smooth, um, very limp. It doesn't coil all up on you. Um, and it's got that fluorocarbon coating. So you're rubbing against rocks or, you know, trout or, you know, warm water fish, their, their teeth are rubbing on the line. Um, it gives you a little extra security. And this stuff is super strong. I mean, it says it's six pound, but man, I've, I've pulled and pulled and pulled on this stuff when I've got snagged in rocks and stuff. And it's, it's strong. It's, it can handle some, some decent fish. So I'll leave this down in the description below for an Amazon link, but I'll also, once I get it in stock, we're going to be selling this on Trout Whisper Tackle website. So when you go and buy your spinners and spoons and stuff from us, you'll be able to pick up a spool of this for 300 some odd yards. You'll be able to do a couple 
you'll be able to fill up a couple reels like this with it and you can get it all in one spot. So depending on when you're watching this video, you'll be able to get it all in one place. But for now, I'll leave it down in the description. So that's pretty much my setup. Spinners are my favorite early spring casting lure. Um, leave it down in the description below what you guys like to use this time of year if you're an experienced trout fishing person. I'd like to hear what you guys use. Let me know what you think of these spinners, if you've used them. And I'll leave Trout Whisper Tackle down in the description as always, so you can go and check out and get some of these spinners for yourself because spring is here and those fish are gonna be hungry. So good luck to everybody this season. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next video.